welcome to another video. So I am kicking off this vlog pretty late, to be honest. It is about 9.30 at night on a Friday night. In the morning, we're going to be heading off to Melbourne. So we are actually going to be going on a fun little weekend trip, which is very, very exciting. It's been a long time since I've been in Melbourne. I think it's been like four years since I've last been back. And I think it's been about two years and four months or something since I've last been on an airplane. So I am very, very, very excited excited for this. Essentially the reason why this trip has come about is because one of Tyler's friends is getting married soon and we're also invited to go to the wedding when the wedding actually happens but he got invited to go to the like bucks party so essentially he's going to be like hanging out and going to like a VR thing or something. I think that's what they're doing but yeah that is happening tomorrow night. Basically I had the choice of staying at home while he goes to Melbourne or I could tag along and then kind of find something to do on my own on the Saturday night which is what I opted to because I as I said haven't been on a plane in a long time and I really wanted to go to Melbourne so I decided to buy a ticket to Hamilton so I'm gonna be going and seeing Hamilton tomorrow. I am very jazzed by this whole thing so I can't wait to get to sleep and go to Melbourne tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna get very much sleep but we will do our best anyway. Let's at some point hopefully very soon go to sleep, get up, quickly put on makeup and eat breakfast and then go to Melbourne. I never did that one. <laughs> Christy here, ready to explain to you guys Australia's national sport. Now the reason why I actually wanted to stop and draw attention to this and explain a little bit is because A, I know that most of the people who watch my videos are not actually from Australia. B, I think that to outsiders, the AFL, which is the Australian Football League, must honestly look absolutely ridiculous. And B, I think this is a fun little cultural difference thing that we have here. The sport started in the 1850s because cricket players wanted something to do during the winter time and so AFL is played on cricket ovals with these goalposts that look suspiciously like Quidditch hoops. If you kick the ball through the middle two you get six points, if you kick the ball through the outer ones you get one point, you can only dispose of the ball by kicking it or by handballing it, you have 18 players from each side on the ground, if you run a certain distance you have to bounce the ball and given the shape of like the AFL football this is actually very very difficult to do. You have to like throw it at a very very specific angle to get 
to actually bounce back to you. Players are also allowed to jump on each other to try and mark the ball. This is called a specky. The AFL is an incredibly athletic sport because you have to run really, really far. But I find it really interesting. I've been following it for a really long time. And the reason why we bought tickets to go and see this game is because it's being played at the MCG, which is the Melbourne Cricket Ground, which is the place where the grand final is played every year. So the ground is very, very meaningful and it holds like 100,000 people. And I'd never been there before. Tyler had never been there before. And so we wanted to go and see an AFL game with our team, which is the Adelaide Crows, at the MCG. I think that is everything I wanted to say on the sport of AFL. I can get back to editing and you guys can now get back to watching this video. <laughs> There's a fire somewhere in the MCG. Now all players being instructed to get to the middle of the ground. checked into our hotel it is about 5 p.m at this point i feel quite tired we only got about well i only got about three and a half hours to four hours of sleep last night it was not a very long sleep but we got a surprisingly nice hotel i think we had like a booking deal or something but we've ended up in this really lovely little room here in melbourne that ended up being quite a like entertaining football game like our team lost which which we kind of expected to happen because they were against a stronger team, but we almost got evacuated. It turned out that like one of the food stalls or something had a fire alarm go off and almost the whole MCG got evacuated. So that was a fun time. At this point, we're probably gonna go head out and get dinner soon. Tyler has to go head off to meet his friends and I'm gonna head off to go see Hamilton. So I'm very, very, very excited for that. I cannot wait. Let me quickly show you around our hotel room. So this is our lovely little hotel room. I like the lights. They're very, very fancy. The view is not, you know, it, it, it is a brick wall. It, it, it is what it is. A lovely little shot of a building. Excellent. It's really quite nice. I think this is the nicest hotel we've stayed at in Australia by a long way. Certainly the nicest hotel I've stayed at in Australia by a long way. So this is quite lovely. The bathroom here behind a mirror. So that's really, really cool. Oh God, my scalp is so burnt. The whole time we were sitting at the MCG, the sun was really directly in our faces. So I ended up sitting there trying to like cover my eyes from the sun because it was like really hurting my eyes. And now my hands are like kind of burnt and my scalp is, is very, very burnt. This very cool quirky little mirror is hiding the bathroom. So there we go. Here is the bathroom, very simple. Da -da -da -da. And that is the whole hotel room. We are probably going to get going in a second, so I will check in with you guys later.
morning i just got home from hamilton by home i mean i just got back to the hotel it has been such a whirlwind day like it's been a really really like busy day because we've we've basically been like rushing to all the things we wanted to get done today so obviously didn't get very much sleep last night because we had to catch the plane my first plane flight since october 2019 like i got <laughs> i had a moment on the plane where i actually got kind of um, emotional where I, where I was like oh my god I can't believe I'm finally on another plane I know in lots and lots of places around the world people have been traveling a lot over the course of the last year and you know in between the big um, pandemic waves but in Australia like people haven't really been doing international travel and there's been some interstate travel but you know we've been so locked down that there hasn't been a lot of that and so I haven't been on a plane in almost two and a half years like in in I think two years and four months and so I got, got on the plane today got kind of emotional and then they gave us these gluten-free biscuits and I am like partially gluten-free and so I was like really really excited about that as well because it meant I could actually eat the biscuits <laughs> I'm rambling I'm sorry I haven't really had a chance to update you guys all day because it's been so um go 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 I managed to get a shirt from Uniqlo that I had been looking at I'd been looking at this type of sort of white linen shirt because we're coming to the end of summer now and all the like, autumn fashion is coming in I haven't been able to find anything like this and so we don't have Uniqlo where I live we don't have a lot of things where I live for those of you who are unfamiliar with Australian cities which I think is probably most of you Melbourne has four times the population of the city where I live and so Melbourne kind of feels to me like a just a really really big version of Adelaide and so there's a lot of stuff here that we don't actually have like a Uniqlo which is why the like main item of clothing I bought today was from Uniqlo for dinner we ended up just having like a bit of sushi um and then Tyler sped off to go catch public transport to head out to meet his friends and I went off to Hamilton and here we are and it's um 11 p.m and I've been up since 4 a.m Hamilton was really 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 good it was so good I think it's King George? I'm pretty sure it's King George. The actor that the Australian Hamilton had for him did such a good job. He was so funny. Like I laughed a lot. The actor who played Hamilton, I, I don't know, I love Lin-Manuel Miranda so much so I feel like I was always going to be the most critical of him. He did a really good job and his singing was amazing. His voice was very similar but there were like certain ways that he like delivered the lines that kind of changed the style of the humour so I thought that was really interesting to see. But yeah, I freaking love Hamilton so I'm really really excited that I managed to go see Hamilton I did get the shirt <laughs> the camera is actually being held up right now by my retainer case of all things so that's just the only way I've managed to angle the camera this way thank you very much to my retainer case which I've had since I was 14 doing a great job I wasn't gonna get a t-shirt for Hamilton because I didn't realize they would be selling t-shirts there um, but I was like shuffling past and I saw them and you know every time I've been to live music and I've been to a live performance and I've not gotten the band tee I've regretted it the one that particularly haunts me is um, Arctic Monkeys for when they came for like AM when AM came out because they haven't been back to Adelaide since the t-shirts are so so overpriced but i cherish them and they mean a lot to me got the t-shirt from hamilton very happy with that and then because tyler's little sister really really loves hamilton um and i felt really bad that i was getting to see it and she wasn't getting to see it i ended up getting her the t-shirt as well so this will be a nice little surprise for mia so she can have a hamilton t-shirt as well i am gonna take off my makeup and then probably watch the eighth episode of i almost went to say crash landing on you the eighth episode of business proposal which is the k-drama i'm watching at the moment i watched like the first six episodes in about three days so i <laughs> i get really bad with k-dramas anyway i'm gonna go take off my makeup put on my pajamas and watch the last episode of business proposal <laughs> Harder than it should be. <laughs> this is 
this is as good as we will get. Ta -da! We have a tea making station. Oh great. We've got mint. We've chamomile. I don't really like mint tea. I haven't had it in a long time, but chamomile. Because there's no caffeine in chamomile, so I'll be able to sleep if I have this. It is about 10.30 a.m. now and we are just about to get going. I will show you my outfit. This is the shirt I bought at Uniqlo yesterday. I think it's quite cute. I really like the sort of flowiness of the shirt. Shorts, shoes, and there's my stuff ready to go. I'm not really sure what we're going to be getting up to today. We're probably just going to check out of the hotel because it's it's about time to check out. So we'll just have to quickly do that and then we'll organize breakfast and whatever it is that we're doing today. We have like a list of things we, we we're kind of interested in looking at. So we're going to go through that list and work out a plan. We normally come up with plans a lot um, earlier, but this time we've sort of just like wanted to play it by ear. Ready for Melbourne day two? Let's go. <laughs> This is a lot, a lot bigger than the South Australian Museum. I really am enjoying this museum. It's really pretty. And all the areas with all the dinosaurs are really cool. So we're having a fabulous time. Um, it is getting a little bit later now. So we're probably gonna head off and grab some lunch. We're probably gonna get ramen for lunch.
it is a few days later and I am jumping in here to finish off this vlog. I really did intend to film an outro to this video after we got home, but the second we got home, we sort of ran into some bad luck. We got back to the house and for some reason our cold water wasn't working. We only had hot water and then all of a sudden our hot water stopped working. And so we were trying to like problem solve the fact that we had no working water and it was just a little bit stressful we fixed it in the end and so because of that obviously i forgot to film an outro to this video so yeah thank you so very much to all of you for watching this melbourne vlog i hope you enjoyed it also an enormous thank you to everyone over on patreon for supporting my channel and all of the creative things that i make over on patreon we have a whole lot of lovely bonus content we have a book club we have a private discord server where we chat about things like books and pets and movies and a whole bunch of different stuff i also post writing updates and behind the scenes content one of our tiers is a special video request tier. So I do video requests on things like writing and YouTube editing tutorials and a whole bunch of different stuff. If you're interested in supporting the things that I make and if you want to get some wonderful bonus content, please feel free to check out Patreon. Thank you again so very much for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.